You get to the gym. You just took your pre-workout. It's 40 degrees. There's no air con. Just fans blowing around stinky hot air. You're sweating like Cardinal Pell at the pearly gates. You realize that you just left your deadlift socks at home. <gasps> and you just shaved your legs sparkly clean two days ago. It's time to put on your knee sleeves. Hey guys, welcome to our very first YouTube video. We're gonna be making a bunch of videos like once a week, just to basically go over a couple of tips and tricks in the gym, just to help you obviously make things life easier, especially when you're training. It could be from programming to technique to equipment that you use, maybe even some exercise, I guess, um, advice. But today we're going over how to put your knee sleeves on and then how to take them off. So as we all know, Inza have released an Ergo Pro style knee sleeve that is super thick neoprene material that makes it really hard to put them on and off. And the number one thing that we see in the gym today, once you finish your squats, is that you superset it with taking your knee sleeves off. One of the hardest things that you'll probably ever experience. And it's especially hard in an environment like here in Australia where it's super hot, humid, and sweaty. So today we'll be going over how to put them on, how to take them off. We've got some great demonstrators here today in the form of Mr. Patrick Stubbs and Benny Roberts. So we, yeah, we'll be showing you different techniques on how to put them on, how to make it super easy for you. There's obviously different types of knee sleeves that you'll put on, some are more difficult than others, but and sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. We'll see you soon. Welcome back. So now I'm gonna show you how we put our knee sleeves on at HPC. Um, hopefully it'll help you out a little bit. So I've got my personal pair of SPDs and Inza Ergo Pros. I'm um, gonna put one on either leg and show you a couple of techniques that may help you out. Step one, shoes off. Step two, put it over your foot. <coughs> Step three, turn the bottom side up as far as you can. Step four, put the top side down. Step five, I can get him up. <coughs> Try and get it as high as you can on your knee so that it's like your kneecaps in the middle of the sleeve, basically. Then unfold the top. <coughs> unfold the bottom. Give it a pull at the back and the sides. And you're done. All right, so moving on to the more difficult one. Um, i found that deadlift socks aren't as helpful with these just because the bottom side gets so tight that I can't actually pull it out without it like compromising um, the deadlift sock and just turning it terrible. So if you have an old pair or something, maybe save them for that. Um, but same process with these. Bottom up, top down. And then get your hands underneath the entire knee sleeve as best you can. And then as you pull it up your leg, try and extend your knee so that you've got force going both ways. <coughs> All right, and then same thing. Trying to just roll them out up to the top. Roll the bottom down. Give them a fiddle to where it's comfy. You're golden. Some people find some trouble as well um, throughout their squat sessions that the knee sleeves will just ride down. Um, so obviously a way that you can fix this is following a similar approach to just getting them back on. So just fold the top side back down, get your fingers under the bottom, <coughs> pushing your knee out and pulling it up at the same time. And then we just roll it back up. And then the second thing you can do um, to stop them from rolling down is train your calves. <clears throat> so much like the skit in this video, I'm actually sweating my whole out right now. But basically, now we're on to the fun part, especially with the Inzers, is actually getting them off. Um, so obviously, according to the IPF rules, you can get no assistance, you can use no um, pieces of equipment to get them on or off. Um, obviously, like I said, you can practice getting them on with a deadlift sock because there are no rules that state you can't do that. Um, but getting them off can be the tricky part. So basically, what I do 
Let's fold the top down as far as I can. And then grab the outside and just absolutely rip it down until it moves off. <coughs> All right. That was a bit easy because I did take it off off camera, then had to put it back on. But um, if it does get stuck as you're ripping it down, you can pull it down like this and say if my ends have got stuck there, which it does a lot of the time, put your thumbs underneath the top side and push it down around the front and the back of your calf until it gets loose enough that you can then pull the top, move your ankle as well, try and relax your, the bottom half of your leg and then continue to pull it off and you're done. All right, well that wraps it up. I hope you guys have learned how to put your knee sleeves on a bit easier and even take them off as well. It's how all our members do it here at HPC and there are no torn biceps or broken fingernails or anything like that. So hope this helps. Uh, if, like I said at the start of the year, if you can like, share, comment, subscribe, let us know how you go putting your knee sleeves on. Don't tell us if you didn't get them on or not because we told you how to do it properly. <laughs> See you later.